in the first video on Newton's laws and connected particles. Just take some of these notes into your copy. Really important words, force, mass, and momentum. So force is what causes an object to accelerate. And in the first example here, the wind blowing the leaf off the, the roof is the force. The wind is the force, the mass of a body, the quantity of matter in it. And there's a few notes of mass here. It's not the same as volume. He gives here a candy floss kind of example. And you can imagine that candy floss, a big candy floss is massive. There's loads and loads of candy floss, but the stick could have more mass, okay? More matter. So again, mass is not the same as weight. Mass is a scalar quantity. Since it has a magnitude, no direction. The weight of an object is the force, so it's a vector, the weight of an object, which pulls the object towards the center of the earth. And if you bring a pot of jam to the moon, what will happen? Its weight will be less, but the mass won't change. The quantity of matter in it will still be the same. And mass is measured in kilograms. Once we start practicing questions, a lot of this becomes clearer. So here's a note on momentum. Snowball is chasing this guy down the hill. What happens as the snowball goes down the hill? It gathers momentum. And they gave us this formula up here. Momentum, back in part three here, mass multiplied by velocity. And here's an example here. The mass of a pin or a bowling ball. Let's see here, it's mass is two kilos. Velocity 1.5, mass by velocity, two by 1.5, so we have and it's 1.5 in the i direction this time. It's going in this direction. So 3i kilogram meter per second. A puck of 0.25 in velocity. Here's my velocity. So it's not just going in a straight i direction this time. It's going 3i plus 4j. And if we multiply that by 0.25 here, we're going to get 3 quarters plus 1. And that's in kilograms and meters per second. So mass times velocity momentum has no special unit you can see here it's measured in kilograms meters per second so a new introduction here it's all the way back in 1687 that isaac newton published philosophy naturalis principia mathematica or mathematical principles of natural philosophy and in this work he produced three laws of motion and since then there have been these laws have been the basis of a large part of all applied mathematics incredible from over 400 years ago it's hard to exaggerate how important these laws have been in the progress of mankind so isaac newton and maths the they explain the relationship between forces which act on a body and the consequent motion of the body the consequent motion of the body so take notes from this page into your copies and then just move on to video two which we'll have some note taking as well before we go on to some questions